Maca's guides. <laughs> Here you can continue forward through the level, but before we do that, we're gonna actually want to rappel down to find our first secret in the game. Make sure you tie your rope to the branch. If you don't, you're gonna jump off and die, and you don't wanna do that. At the very bottom, go to the right-hand side and pull down the thistle using the game mechanic we learned a little bit earlier. Don't worry about this apple. Pick up the secret and then climb back up and continue through the level. When you reach the sunflower seeds, instead of going on top, make sure you go to the right hand side and stay on the bottom level. Pull down the thistle and grab the little secret. From this branch, once you kind of cross from one tree to another, make sure you go to the very top and tie a knot. Now you can rappel down. You might only be able to rappel down halfway or you might be able to rappel a little bit more, but once you're at least halfway down, jump all the way to the bottom and then uh, start grappling up and make sure you swing into this little rock uh, formation to grab the secret. Now what you wanna do to progress through the level is leave the bee at the beginning. But before we do that, we're gonna bring the bee all the way to the end here. At the very end, go back to where we came from so that this part is raised. Make sure you lasso on and grab the little secret. If you don't grab that secret, you'll have to come back for it another time. Once you grab up onto here, make sure you jump to the left hand side onto that little slanted plank of wood. And once you grab onto it, make sure you go into the flower pot to grab the last secret. The first secret of the second chapter can be found in the kite section. It will happen about halfway through the kite section, which only lasts about 20 seconds. After having a tree come through the foreground, you're going to want to stay near the top, go in between a break in the branches, and make sure that Yarny hits the top of the bottom branches in order to get the coin, which is very difficult to see, which will get you the eagle eye achievement as well. After reaching this checkpoint here, the second seeker can be found in the water just to the left of the rock in the middle. You'll have to quickly jump in the water and jump back out so that you don't die. After getting to the dock, you'll have to get to the bottom here to this checkpoint and then open the small latch using Yarny and then rappelling down so that you pull it. Instead of going up and around back to the next checkpoint, make sure you go down all the way to the very end underneath the dock to find this collectible. The fourth collectible can be a little bit tricky, but as long as you're looking out and paying attention to the screen, you should be able to do it quite easily. After making it to this part, you'll want to create a small trampoline for yourself and then rappel down. Start swinging back and forth and you'll notice that there is a small secret just to the left of the screen that you'll have to reach through a very long swing. Your rope should be a little bit longer than the latch point underneath you. As we approach the end of the level, we can find the fifth and final secret of the level. Use these small weight stacks in order to move the ramp so that you can gain access to the boat. Now instead of going down to the boat, just make sure you keep using the lasso points to the very right of the screen. Once you reach the very top right of the screen in the boathouse, you'll find your fifth and final secret. Our first secret right at the beginning, we're going to have to go to the third branch, swing back and catch the two branches above the second branch. This is a little bit tricky, it'll take a little bit of swinging back and forth, but if you get the right kind of vibe, the right flow, you will be able to hook on. You'll create one trampoline, then get up to the second pair of branches, create a second trampoline, jump off that one and swing across using the top branch to the left hand side. As soon as we land, we will land directly onto our first secret. We can find the second secret as soon as we reach this checkpoint, touch the rock and it'll fall. And basically as soon as it falls, just go to the left and land directly on the secret. If you go a little bit too far, just pull yourself back up into the secret. At this point, you've reached the third secret, which I already have, but you'll see the kind of red sparkling thing. Uh, you'll tie down the seesaw, then tie a trampoline at the top of that seesaw to get up and over. Hook onto the front of this kind of oven or fireplace, and two logs will roll out. Go into the fireplace and pull out the third log. Push all of them forward to push the kind of horizontal log forward and then just go back onto the trampoline that you use to get up onto here and touch the secret. That'll be your third one of the level. 
All right, so we've made our way through the car a little bit and made our way back onto the hood, but this time from the other side. Again, watching out for the mosquitoes. If we're going for that pacifist achievement, just get to the roof of the car and push down the watering can. Push it down all the way to the ground level. Once it's on the ground level, make sure you get to the right of it and push it to the left or pull it to the left if you're kind of stuck with the water how I was. Uh, we're going to basically be using this in order to get across a pond that we wouldn't be able to swim across because we don't have enough breath. Put it in the middle, jump on the watering can, and then jump across onto the secret to pick it up. Once we reach this checkpoint, we can find our fifth and final secret of the level. Just tie a small trampoline between these two points and use it to get access to the left of this branch. Hop up on here, and this is one of the easier ones. Pick it up by standing on it. The first secret of chapter four is found as soon as you start sliding into the cave system. Make sure you don't go too far and double back kind of into the first little hole of the cave system. You'll want to go into the right hand side. There's a little alcove and you'll find your first secret. Just use simple platforming and don't fall in the water. The second secret of the chapter is found upon reaching this checkpoint. Once you tie into the checkpoint, tie up and make a trampoline just to the left of it. Jump up onto the outhouse and the branch, make a trampoline between those two, and then you'll just have to jump up onto the branch on the left. It's a little bit hard to see my secret because I already have it and it's basically a blinking red light, but it's sitting there on that branch just to the left hand side. At this point in the level you'll need to use a rusted metal can as a counterweight on a seesaw to progress. Before you do that, make sure you push the can all the way to the right hand side and then backtrack, go under the seesaw and find your third secret and then continue on. Now we've reached the mountain maze part of the level which has our fourth secret. I'll be taking you through the puzzle solution and the secret so you can do both of them as fast as possible. Make sure you release the rock on the top right hand corner and then make sure you bring down the bucket. Push the bucket over to the left hand side through the little system that it lands in. This is actually part of the solution to the puzzle and not the secret, but you're going to want to do it so you don't have to backtrack and add an extra minute to everything. Now go back down and you're going to want to push the rock all the way to the left of the screen. You will need to create another trampoline slash ramp, which I'll be doing right here. For whatever reason, I have better luck with it forming if I do the left hook and then the right hook. It wasn't really working 100% of the time if I did it the other way around. Anyways, push the rock all the way to the left of the screen so you can use it as a small uh, platform to get a little higher. Jump up to the left, jump up to the right, and get the secret, which is tied to the not a clue achievement slash trophy. The fifth and final secret is found near the end of the level as you open up a shack door to release some logs. You will then use the logs to progress over the river, but before you do that, go into the cabin that they were in and you'll find the secret in a wide open area. Our first secret of the level comes at this point and it's directly under us. It does require you to use the raft. Keep in mind there is a secret achievement slash trophy for not using the raft. So as soon as you grab the secret, if you want to get that pathfinder achievement slash trophy, make sure you immediately hold down on the d-pad in order to reload your last checkpoint and then continue on through the level without using the raft to still be able to unlock it. Either way, we're going to grab the raft, create a small bridge that goes back to the previous checkpoint, then push the raft off the left side and ride the raft underneath this dock, grabbing your first secret of the level. Shortly after the last collectible, you'll make your way up onto this kind of two-story dock, drop down into the hole, and then use the left trigger in order to swing and grab the secret which is just hanging off to the right. You might need to give a little bit of slack on the yarn to get the extra distance you need. The third secret of this chapter can be found upon reaching this checkpoint directly in front of me. You can actually get it in the previous checkpoint but it's a lot more dangerous and you're a lot more likely to die. Once you grab that checkpoint just repel off into the gap and it's on the right hand side. Upon reaching the top of this narrow canyon, you'll be forced to create a small bridge slash trampoline near the top in order to be able to progress through the level. You'll come into this small kind of uh, cave and you'll need to swing to the right hand side and then lasso onto the small branch sticking out in order to find the secret on the right. Upon making our way to the very top of the hill, we'll be required to pull this branch back in order to stop a rock from crushing us. 
As soon as we do that, we'll actually need to go to the next checkpoint. This is mandatory. If you don't, you won't have enough yarn to reach the next secret. And upon reaching this checkpoint, we can drop back down to where we just were and head back up all the way to the, where that rock was, all the way to the top left of the screen, and you'll find it at the top of the hill. Again, if you don't reach the checkpoint first, you won't have enough yarn. The first secret of this chapter is done when we're introduced into the toxic water. Just jump into the puddle and then swing across onto the barrels. As soon as you touch the barrels and the branch near the barrels, they will roll away. Make sure you jump back to where you came from and go into the barrel. You'll have to pull out the small water bottle or medicine bottle first in order to be able to touch it. Upon reaching this checkpoint, which I recommend you do first, you can get your second secret of the chapter. Go back and start swinging. The reason I recommend you get that checkpoint is if you die, you can quickly spawn back. But just swing back and forth. Make sure you get really low to the water without touching the rock. And at the very peak of your swing, let go and get up onto this barrel to collect the secret. So now we're on top of the generator. You'll need to make a small bridge slash trampoline using a the downward handle. Jump up on top and you can actually plug in the generator to continue the mission. Before we do that, make sure you swing across and jump onto the ladder. Make sure you don't hit the ladder without jumping on it or you'll knock it over and then won't be able to access it. Once the ladder is knocked over, just make your jump to the left hand side and pick up the secret. This secret's actually pretty hard to miss. You'll see it directly under you as you walk up to this dock and see this kind of construction worker. You'll drop down and see a construction hat which you'll need to use for some of the puzzles. Pull it out and then go under the dock to collect the secret. Alright, so this is the fifth and final secret of the level, also tied specifically to an achievement slash trophy. This one is quite a doozy, probably one of the hardest collectibles in the entire game. Pull over the box and make the trampoline. As soon as you do that, pull, pull it over all the way to the left and jump up halfway up the excavator. Tie a knot, then go back down and undo your trampoline, pushing the box back as far to the right as possible. Now you'll need to actually start the excavator and put the arm down and what you need is for when the arm goes down you need the box to be directly under it and the arm will smash the box and you'll find the collectible inside. You can actually look in the box and you can see a little bit of red sparkles come out which means that that is a secret and that's actually how I figured out that there's one inside. I actually got a little bit lucky that some of those sparkles were showing up a little bit better than I would have anticipated. Inside the excavator, push down the seat, pull the arm, the arm will fill and swing across, breaking the box and the rocks and uh, allowing you to now pick up the collectible. If you have swung the arm of the excavator and not destroyed the box, you have to restart the level all the way from the very beginning. Once you have it, just walk up to it and pick it up. There you go, achievement trophy unlocked as well. The first secret in this mission is probably the most skill intensive secret out of all of the ones in the entire game. You'll need to jump down here and then swing. You'll have to swing and catch on to the next ring. And what I recommend from here on out is always tying knots and then using both triggers to Spider-Man across this little gap. If you do it right, it should look like what I'm doing on screen. However, it's very difficult. You also want a little bit of swinging motion on this last one, although make sure your feet aren't in the water. If your feet are in the water, you probably won't make it. Eventually, you'll make your way to the secret. Once you're here, feel free to reload the checkpoint so you don't have to swing back. The second secret in this chapter is pretty easy and I honestly don't even know if you can beat the level without getting it. Jump up onto here, pull the rock down, make sure you're on the right hand side of that rock and you'll get flung right into the secret. Once you get on the top left of this electrical wire, make sure you tie a knot and then swing across to the next checkpoint. As soon as you get to this checkpoint, it should automatically tie a bridge, assuming you tied a knot. Then use the trampoline to jump to the left hand side over the satellite dish, get onto the small chimney, and you should find the secret. Once we reach this checkpoint, we can get the fourth secret, which is also tied to an achievement slash trophy called Undaunted. Get to the checkpoint and then hitch a ride on one of the chains to the left hand side of this push pad. Swing directly into the secret right there, and then you'll want to pull yourself back up or take a ride all the way back around. The fifth and final secret of this mission can be found in the second drawer. It might look like you can't open the second drawer. You'll need to open the first drawer all the way, get inside, and then open the second drawer as far as you can. Jump inside to find the secret. 
You can't use a lasso or anything, you actually have to physically move it. The first secret of this chapter can be found once we make our way indoors for the first time. What we're going to need to do is make a chain of bridges all the way from the base all the way to the top right corner. The top right corner is where the actual secret is. However, we won't have enough height to get up to it. So what we're going to need to do is make sure we can get that block that's all the way at the starting point all the way to the top right. So you're seeing me making bridges right now, and then once they're all made, you're actually gonna have to jump across here. This is the only way to do this properly. Um, so a little bit of timing and practice to get that jump down. And then you'll be able to pull down this kind of hammer or mallet, and then you'll be able to create your last piece of the bridge for the block. Bring the block all the way up here, and then you'll be able to grab that secret. You'll then need to destroy some bridges to make further progress through the mission though. So keep that in mind, or you can just uh, restart the checkpoint if you really want to. Once we reach this checkpoint, we actually have two secrets pretty close to each other nearby. So what we're going to want to do is grab this hook on a wheel, on a caster wheel. I want to call it a caster wheel. I'm probably saying the wrong thing, though. Just grab it and pull it all the way to the far left. Now that we did that, we have it in place. Uh, we don't actually need it right this second, but just keep it there. And then grab onto the little dangly wire part of the lamp on the bottom. Make sure you have a really long rope and swing all the way to the left. Make sure you don't uh, miss. If you do miss, make sure you hold that trigger to stop yourself from falling and dying. Once up here in the barn, we can grab the paint can. Uh, you're going to want to push the paint can all the way back down to the main floor from where we entered. Again, make sure you break your fall so that you don't die. And then once it's down here, you're just going to keep pushing it to the far left, far right rather, on the bottom. Obviously, since it's so heavy, it's going to fall automatically. At the very end of this hall, you will find your second secret. Obviously, walk up to it to pick it up. So we've made our way back up to this checkpoint. We have that hook on the left there. We're going to hook onto it and tie a knot. Then we're going to tie that knot with a the knot on the very top of the lamp to make a small bridge slash trampoline. And from here, we can jump up and lasso onto this lasso point. Once we're in the attic of this barn, we can hop over this box and find our third secret. This is actually cool because you can actually progress through the level by going out the window instead of going the long way. Once you open up the well, you're going to want to repel from the left hand side of the opening down into the well and on the very left of the well, you can find the fourth secret. Just make sure you swing into it and that one's pretty easy. For the final secret of the chapter, make sure you smash this first piece of ice. Do not smash any more, because if you do, you'll have a really hard time swimming back and you'll probably die. Once you smash the first little piece of ice, you're going to want to make a knot point, which will create a bridge slash trampoline. Now you can use this to gain access to the branch directly above you. Now you'll also be able to run and lasso onto the swinging point and straight to the collectible. As soon as you do that, you're probably going to want to break the rest of the ice for the obsessive achievement slash trophy. After reaching this checkpoint, we can get secret number two of five. Now they are out of order based on how the game numbers them, but based on the actual progression of the mission, this makes a lot more sense. So after you get that checkpoint, create a small bridge slash trampoline right here, and then you'll want to jump up to the branch above you. Now pay very close attention. Once you're here, you're going to need to jump a few times until it triggers the secret. You actually can't see it at all. It is impossible to see, but you'll jump into it, hear the click, and then you'll get it. Now, no, secret number one, again, they're out of order, so we're going to go for the first secret if you're basing it on the picture. We're going to swing on this branch, swing to the left, across the gap, and then jump over, swing across here. You'll see two branches. Make sure you clear both of them of the snow, which is the only reason I actually go for that second branch. Uh, it doesn't help you with getting the secret swing back and obviously just swing into the secret to collect it 
After creating the two bridges and using the pine cone to roll a snowball into the cave to destroy some ice to reach your next checkpoint, just swing under the checkpoint to find your third secret. So this one's really well hidden and a little bit tricky, but after reaching this checkpoint, continue forward and you'll notice the tree in the background. Hop up onto the tree and then onto the snow uh, covered branches. It'll fling you two or three times onto a tall branch and you'll collect the secret. The fifth and final secret of this level can be found after putting the snowball into the kettle. Now I do recommend that you untie all of the knots you use to make the bridges to get the snowball across so that you have more yarn in order to swing further. Tie a knot at the top and then just uh, rappel down and swing directly into the secret. Remember you have more yarn if you destroy your bridges from before. After using the rusted wheel to get onto the car bumper so that you don't get crushed, you'll jump onto a stack of tires and do a swinging section. What you want to do is tie a knot on the first and second peg to create a bridge slash trampoline. And then once you get on top, make sure you jump up and a little bit to the right. Don't want to, you don't want to jump from the middle of the trampoline. Jump about 60% of the way on the trampoline to the right, hook on there, and then swing to the right hand side and make sure you catch up on that ledge or over swing and then pull yourself back up to find your first secret. Upon tying a trampoline and then using it to get to the next checkpoint as you see on screen, all you're going to want to do for this secret, it's actually really easy, you'll just, it's really hard to see. You'll want to rappel down the side of this and go underneath exactly where you were to find the second secret. You should be able to hear the distinct clicking noise the secrets make and see a little bit of a pop in the background. From this checkpoint, we're going to have to swing using a kind of barrel and then a chain. Get to the second part, which is this chain, and then make your yarn quite long. Don't tie a knot on the top or else you won't have enough yarn. Begin swinging, le swinging left and right. The best tactic is to start swinging and then let the swing carry you so you don't get too much disturbance in the yarn. At the very end, you'll want to swing off and hopefully land somewhere around here. If you don't get as far, you can lasso. I'll show you exactly where the lasso point is that you're going for. It's in the top right of my screen right now. I went too far, so I didn't lasso there. And then pick up the secret, and that's that. So this is secret number four or five in the level. This one's tied directly to an achievement slash trophy. This one isn't too bad, although it takes a little bit of time to actually get it based on, you know, how the puzzles work. But once you get into the car room, turn on the magnetic lifter thing. And then there's four buttons. The leftest one makes the lift go left. The most right one makes it go right. And then there's an up and down one. More or less, all you want to do is pick up the, turn on the lift rather, pick up the metal block, shift it to the left, and then drop it by turning the power off. This will break a box that is located directly underneath where you enter this area. And then you'll want to continue the puzzle and take the block to the right hand side and drop it, which you'll need in that location to make further progress through the level. However, at this point, if you just want to get that collectible out of the way, just leave the machine on, rappel up, grab that secret, and then continue on making progress through the level. It's up to you what order you tackle this in. I'm just showing the order that makes the most sense and saves you the most time. So again, as soon as you crush that box, jump up to where that box was to find your fourth out of five secrets, unlocking the level specific missable achievement slash trophy. The fifth and final secret of the level is near the end where there's a car crusher. You have to be quick during this one. If you're not quick enough, you will die and get crushed. Pull down the lever in the back, open the hatch in the back, go down to the floor and pull the seat back so that it folds, hop up on the seat and from the top of the seat, lasso the glove compartment to show the secret and then jump into the car so you don't get crushed. That's the fifth secret. The first secret is found quite early in the level. You'll reach a large tree that you'll actually be able to see quite a bit of orbs around the bottom and you can use these orbs to climb the tree. Each orb, whatever way you're pointing when you use it, that's the way it's going to shoot you up. Now, I'm going to do a freeze frame so you guys can see exactly where you're trying to get to. Bam! Right there at the very tip top of the tree, right in the middle, you should find your first secret. 
A little bit later on, you'll come to this chopped tree that you have to get over, get to the very top of the tree, and then you'll have to swing up and to the right. Use the orbs to combo up this tree, and you'll see right there on a branch is your second secret. As you progress through the level, you'll come through a small clearing where you can see that there's a lot of blue in the background and there should be a cluster of three to four orbs right in the middle of this field. Use these orbs to make your way up and to the left. It's a little bit difficult, but you're trying to get back to the tree that we just passed. As soon as you approach the tree, I'll freeze frame it. That's where your collectible is. You have to just use the orbs to make sure you swing through the collectible and that you hear the sound and that you pick it up. As we progress through the level, we'll make it to a fallen over log where we can actually get our fourth secret. This one's the easiest one. Just rappel down onto a small boat to find the collectible. From here, we'll want to rappel up to our fifth and final secret of the game if we've been following along. Just go up and to the right and try to get to the top of the large tree. I'll freeze frame it again so you guys know exactly where to look. But at the very top of the tree to the left side branch, you'll see a small collectible. Obviously, swing by it to pick it up, unlocking hopefully the achievement for getting all 55 of the secrets available in Unravel. At this point, if you've followed along and gotten all 55 secrets, you'll unlock your big achievement or trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, the video was helpful. Feel free to share it with a friend. Special shout out to Heron Giggles as well as everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Hopefully, I see you guys next time. Peace.